was always awkward as hell. It was awkward. It was awkward as hell. Like asking someone out is awkward if you've never done it before. And even if you have done it before, it's fucking awkward. From playing an iconic superhero to playing a destitute composer, Andrew Garfield has perfected the art of bringing every single character to life, and he has had an amazing success in his career. But when it comes to the more personal aspect of his life, far from the cameras and action sequences, the Hacksaw Ridge actor doesn't seem to experience as much success. Andrew Garfield's dating history is a minefield of alleged flings, rumored bad breakups, in that one love story we all wanted to happen so badly. And with news of yet another name added to his list of exes, we simply have to take a look at why Andrew Garfield's love life will always be tragic. Just as Andrew Garfield was making his way into the Hollywood limelight, he was also navigating a relationship with American actress Shannon Woodward. They reportedly started dating back in 2008, way before Andrew got his break in the 2010 Facebook drama, The Social Network. While they were both young actors on the come up, the couple were very supportive of each other, talking about how his relationship with the Raising Hope actress was affected by his growing fame. Andrew told Parade in 2010 that his girlfriend was proud of him. He said, I think my girlfriend is proud of me and the fact that I've remained grounded. I think I'm just busier. That's the main thing. I haven't got as much time to mope about and complain that I'm bored. She travels with me when she's not working. Whenever we have time, we're together. It seemed like the perfect, homely, grounded, unproblematic relationship that the rising actor could maintain throughout his growing career in stardom. But it was not to be. Shortly before the release of his next movie, and a major break for Andrew's career, his relationship with Shannon ended in 2011, after three years. And to go through heartbreak at the same time he's enjoying amazing wins and success for his career, it must have been a bittersweet experience, which sort of sets the tone for the rest of Andrew Garfield's tragic love life. But that wasn't his first heartbreak. Andrew told Cinema Blend that his first breakup was the greatest pain he had ever felt. I remember the first time I broke up with someone. It was the greatest pain ever. He said in the 2010 interview, it made me never want to love again. We all know that feeling. So you do everything you can to distract yourself. Andrew wasn't a quitter though, and he was not going to give up on love. The next time Andrew found love, it became a worldwide headline. Getting cast as Spider-Man is a life-changing moment that imprints any actor as an icon and household name for the rest of their careers. And Andrew Garfield got his name in the Superhero Hall of Fame when he became Peter Parker in Sonny's The Amazing Spider-Man franchise. The British-American actor was paired alongside Emma Stone as Gwen to his Peter, and their chemistry was instant and intense. They got along on and offset, and their easy friendship quickly translated into something more. A short while before the release of the first The Amazing Spider-Man in 2012, rumors that they were dating began to spread, and fans were excited to hear it. If the rumor is true that Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield are dating, then three words, favorite couple ever, one Twitter user wrote. Another fan said, I hope the rumors about Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield dating are true. I kinda sorta love them together. And it was official. Emma and Andrew hit the red carpets with the cutest poses during the award season in 2012, and it was pretty much confirmation of their relationship. After all, becoming red carpet official is the Hollywood equivalent of a Facebook dating announcement. Although they never publicly spoke about their relationship, Andrew was always quick to gush over his girlfriend within professional contexts. In 2012, he told MTV News about the experience of working with her. We got on really well as people in between takes, he said. That was the fun stuff. In between, we just mess around and I felt, huh, this is different. I wasn't really aware what was happening in the screen test. She keeps you on your toes and that wakes you up. That was the beginning. And it really was the beginning of their reign as one of the internet's most adored fan favorite couples. One fan gushed about the relationship on Twitter saying, I'm in love with Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone and they're dating and my heart is exploding. But then they broke up in 2012, and fans were heartbroken all over the world. As one Twitter user wrote, Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield aren't dating, so it's confirmed. Love isn't real. And some fans were really devastated by their split. I don't want to be dramatic, but I think Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield's 2015 breakup 
is the moment that ushered in this weird, depressing period we are all collectively living in. A fan wrote on Twitter, while our hearts collectively broke at the news, neither Andrew nor Emma have spoken about the situation leading to their breakup. But a source for US Weekly revealed that they had split months before the news came out in October 2015, adding that they still have a lot of love for one another and they're on good terms with each another and remain close. It just wasn't working. People magazine also had an insider who confirmed this, saying, there was no drama. They've been apart while working. They still care about each other. The source said, they still have love for one another. They are on good terms with each other and remain close. And that was the truth. Andrew and Emma have maintained their friendship throughout the years. Andrew revealed that he and Emma were still in touch when he mentioned that Emma was one of the people pressing him to reveal the truth about his surprise cameo in the latest installment of Tom Holland's Spider-Man. On the happy, sad, confused, Andrew said, Emma kept on texting me. She was like, are you in this new Spider-Man film? And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, he said. She was like, shut up, just tell me. I'm like, I honestly don't know. And she was like, are you in this new Spider-Man film? And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. So it's pretty clear that their relationship didn't end in angry outbursts and avoiding each other. But Andrew's next attempt to find love may have left a broken heart behind. British singer Rita Ora was first linked with Andrew Garfield in November 2018, and they were spotted holding hands and taking a walk together a month later, on Christmas Eve. Back in November, a source for The Sun had said that Rita let slip to pals about her brewing romance about a month ago. Things have started to heat up, and she says what they have is the real deal. The insider revealed, it is still very early days, but they like each other and are seeing what happens. This was three years after Andrew's last serious relationship, and fans were excited to see the silence actor get back to the dating scene. Rita Ora and Andrew Garfield is like one of the weirdest pairing ever, but good for them, lol, a Twitter user wrote. But other people who were more concerned about the pairing, as one fan posted, I'm not a fan of Rita Ora, but Andrew is not a child or a fool, so I'm going to give her a chance. As long as she does not hurt him, she'll be fine for me. And unfortunately, someone did get hurt when the relationship ended four months after it started. But it wasn't Andrew. When news of their breakup got out in March 2019, a source told The Sun that Andrew was the one who called it quits. Rita is cut up about the whole situation. The insider disclosed. Andrew split up with her recently, and it's been hard going, as they had spent a lot of time together. They spent Christmas together, and she thought things were going well between them. The source continued, her career is going from strength to strength and lives her life in the spotlight, but he told her he wanted to lead a more private life. Rita had tried to do that and had kept their romance off social media, but things didn't work out. She is currently on tour in Australia and is using it to distract herself from the whole situation. And while we're sad that Rita's heart got broken, we can't deny the fact that Andrew has always wanted to keep his private life private. In his 2021 cover interview for Bustle, Andrew talked about how he values his privacy, especially after playing Spider-Man. And of course, his very public relationship with Emma Stone in that period. The Tick Tick Boom actor said, I'm not in the public eye to a great degree because I've designed it that way for myself. For my work, I'm fine with it. But otherwise, I fight for my right for a private, personal life. As a celebrity with a long dating history, it's easy to understand why Andrew values his privacy, especially when you have a look at his trail of short-term flames. Months before he started dating Rita Ora in 2018, Andrew Garfield had been spotted kissing Jessica Jones star Susie Abromi at a beach in Malibu. Dating rumors were sparked, but they ended almost as abruptly as they started, and all news about Andrew and the Marvel Alum actress was knocked out of the park with the Ora Garfield gate. Shortly after his relationship with Rita Ora ended, Andrew was linked with Irish actress and comedian Aisling B. He was seen attending the West End production of Hamilton with the actress in March 2019. But before the rumors could gain any significant weight, the fling was over, and Andrew was in a relationship with model and medical student Christine Gabel by summer of 2019. 
seemingly leaving his history of dating actresses behind. Andrew and the model were first spotted taking a walk together in LA, and a source told Radar Online that it looks like it could turn serious pretty fast. Andrew and Christine seem really into each other. I've seen them together, and you could just tell they had a strong connection right off the bat. But that strong connection fizzled out after two years. By November 2021, Andrew Garfield and Christine Gable were not together anymore, and fans started to wonder what exactly was happening with the 99 Homes actor's love life. But the answer was only a few weeks away. Andrew Garfield gave love and a serious relationship another try with Sports Illustrated swimsuit model Alyssa Miller. In February 2022, Andrew and Alyssa became red carpet official as they stepped out together for the first time at the 2022 SAG Awards. Although they kept their relationship private, they were often pictured together doing casual things like playing tennis or inspecting armpits after shopping. Yes, that really happened. But fans didn't really have an inside look at their relationship because Andrew makes it a point to keep his personal life private. However, Life in Style reported that Andrew and Alyssa had a strong connection via an insider who exclusively told the magazine that Andrew has dated some very famous women, but he's finally found someone he can get really serious about. He's fallen hard for Alyssa Miller, and it's not just because she's gorgeous. He says he loves her spirit, and she makes him laugh. The source says, his friends say he's never felt more comfortable with someone. Unfortunately, that comfort may have been exaggerated. In April 2022, The Sun reported that Andrew and Alyssa had broken up. A source for the outlet claimed that they were together for quite some time before they went public, but work schedules mean it has been really hard to see each other. On top of that, it became clear that there were some differences between them, and it was decided they are better off apart, for now at least. The source continued, It was disappointing for Andrew because he'd have loved to have shared the excitement of the award season with someone he loved, but it just wasn't supposed to be. He is keeping his chin up and taking some time for himself after a hectic few months. And with how dramatic and tragic his love life has been, we can't blame Andrew for wanting some alone time. Andrew Garfield has dated actresses, models, and even a singer, but he hasn't found his perfect happily ever after with any of them. In April 2022, Andrew told Extra TV about his longing to have children of his own. I've been obsessed with being a dad since I was 18. I just haven't done it yet. But yeah, definitely. It's something that you know, there's a longing in me. It's a natural longing. I mean, I've been obsessed with being a dad since I was like 18. I just haven't done it yet. Um... But for someone who really wants to be a dad, it almost seems like his love life is more of a tragedy than the rom-com it should be. Do you think Andrew Garfield is getting closer to finding the love of his life? How do you think his career and fame affect his past relationships? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this story, feel free to like this video and subscribe to The Chronicle for more inside stories on your favorite celebrities.